Abyssian vs. Magmar. Alright, let's replace the spell jammer and the plasma. Actually, the lava slasher. If there's Abyssian, we can just do a plasma storm and that should be fine, maybe. So we got a spell jammer again, just great. We can't we can't play anything on the first turn. Alright, Mana Forger, let's replace Spelljammer. Hopefully we can get something that we can play. Uh, we do, surprisingly. Uh, so we can just do Flash Reincarnation into a Sudden Steal. We'll just end our turn there. Alright, now we get a Saber Smile, which we can use for the Mana Forger, but if the opponent has spells and I'm kind of, uh... I don't know. So... I'm probably going to Saber Spine to kill the Mana Forger, but then I don't know what kind of spells the opponent has to make things cheaper. So let's see what the opponent will do. I mean, he does have a Mana Forger, which he can get the Mana Spring with, or get rid of the Sun Steel Defender's Force Field, or just attack me for one. Either way, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. And I can't really replace things, because Drogon's pretty good to have on when I have 5 mana. Plasma Storm's good to have at 5 mana as well, and the War Beast I just want to have just because... the opponent play. And Aether Master. So yeah, it's just a, a Arcanist deck that's Abyssian, which is pretty good I, I in my experience, but we'll see what happens. But he's just throwing everything under the bus like that, okay. Anyways, so we can kill the Aether Master. Let's uh, go down here, play Saber Spine. Then we can just go up here and then kill the Aether Master. And then we'll attack the General for two and end our turn. Alright, Greater Fortitude, but the uh, Saber Storm will probably die. Let's try to tank the two damage, maybe. So I might just have to, Yeah, I have to do a Plasma Storm. If he's gonna do all these spells, I have to do a Plasma Storm. <laughs> Alright, just to get rid of these two, I have to do a Plasma Storm. Because I don't want a Prismatic Illusionist on the field whatsoever. We'll just go forward and attack the General for two and one we'll return. Thumping Wave. So next turn we gotta have to do the Drogon Bloodborne spell, otherwise that'll be a waste of a Bloodborne spell in my opinion. So let's see. The opponent has four cards, we have four cards. But we have four health over the General. I'll be Sage, so that's not nice. Into a Shadow Spawn. At least the, the Wraithlings aren't Arcanists as well, so uh, let's just go back, play a Drogon, do our Bloodborne spell, and then just attack the General for 6. And then we'll end our turn. And then next turn we can just do a War Beast Greater Fortitude just to do 6 damage, although the I'll be Sage will probably be stronger because he does have a shadow spawn plus who knows what kind of spells in his hand. So I mean alternatively I can just do a thumping wave on the Albi Sage and that should be it, but I never know. Because I need to get into that area just to do the War Beast and Greater Fortitude. Now, although I do have an overload next turn so I can do 8 damage to the general, maybe. So, that's a, that's a thing. So I, I just need the Drogon to not die, and I have lethal. So, because I can kill the Wraithling if he chooses to block with it with the War Beast, and I'll have one mana to do the Bloodborne spell. Prismatic Illusionist, okay. 
No, ritual bat. Never mind. Never mind what I said about lethal. <laughs> Alright, let's just uh, go down. We have to go down. Then we can just go down here, play a war beast into greater fortitude to do six damage to kill the prismatic illusionist. Then we can just kill this ray thing just because, because I don't want to touch that Albi Sage, and then we'll end our turn. So we have Letho with the war beast, which I, he might just do the throw the Albi Sage under the bus, but then. Next turn we can just do Thumping Wave into two Healing Mystics just to gain the edge. I don't know. Like, I feel like we're solid, but Abyssian has so many tricks that you never know. Especially with Arcanist, so... A Nitro. That's a thing. So maybe I can replace a Healing Mystic, see if I can get like another Drogue on, because if I do that's lethal. No I don't. We'll just go down here, Thumping Wave, the Albi Sage, like so. Then we can just do a uh, Healing Mystic right here to heal us for two, do our Bloodborne spell, and then attack the General for four. So I'm probably gonna get hit for eight, I think. Oh, we got an elusive there, so we have lethal. I just, I just hope I don't die with the three cards the opponent has. So we have lethal, unless if the general heals up or makes super blockers, but uh, which is a possibility with the wraithlings, like wraithling swarm. Uh, the bloodborne spell could be moved in a way that I can't get to the general. So I'm taking five. Am I dead? With the Spectral Revenant? So I'm gonna replace Flash Reincarnation just to see if I can't just do something with the without or if I get something better than the Flash Reincarnation, because I don't need that for the Elucid Air. Death no. Well, I mean, we got a space. We got a space. So I'm good. I am more than good. We got a space that we can play the Elucidator. I mean, it like it just basically gave, gave us a path. So let's replace Flash Reincarnation, Spelljammer. That's totally fine. Um, let's just play an Elucidator here. Let's kill this Wraithling and then attack the General for high. Wow, that that was a really close game. Like. That death knell was scary. Like every time I play death knell, when I play Arcanist, the opponent seems to concede for some reason, even though it's not really over. But yeah, like it's like this. This is one case where it shows that it's clearly not over because there was enough space for me to play my Elucidator and just get get in damage for the win. So that was, that was pretty good.